Hi Sagittarians, thank you for viewing me today. Welcome in or welcome back to Searchlight Tarot. You guys, I am doing your general reading. This is right before 8-8 Lionsgate. It is Sunday. I wish you all a beautiful day today. We're gonna get started right now. This is good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Sagittarius. I'm going to look at your current energies, my beautiful Sagittarians. I love you guys. If it sounds like something you're going through, this is your reading. I saw choose wisely you guys I just feel like this is about you deciding something and it has to do about which direction you need to go next to create the things that you want for abundance and happiness so let's look and I'm gonna just see what messages spirit has for your energies around Sagittarians today spirit show me what I need to see for Sagittarius thank you current energies for Sagittarians this reading is for thank you what would you like to show me for the sign of Sagittarius current energies take some out wow I don't like these cards I got deception and envy under the deck now I know what you're trying to make your mind up about are they being is something around you being honest or are they being deceptive why is somebody trying to if there's something going on around you but there is a part of your intuition, which is always a great force. You need to listen to it. And that's a silent knowing. I have material harvest, authority for recognition and reward around you. Let's look. Crown chakra, discontent and boredom, memories of love, disruption. But I have a whopper over here. I have the sun. You guys, this is what I'm going to say to you. If there's something going on around you right now, this is a beautiful energy. And, and I feel that this is about you coming back into the sun. Because when we are in the sun and we are in Leo season, that's one of their major arcanas, we attract everything in the right way. Right? And this is about you letting something go. I have disruption and it's with memories of love, discontent and boredom, and spirit wants you to tap into something to do with your crown chakra. Let's talk about our crown chakra. This is where we receive all our downloads. This is where we receive information when we're in a quiet stillness, when we're meditating, when we're just in a relaxing place and they're always beautiful messages. I cannot tell you the stuff I've heard over the years through it. It's out of nowhere and it was not my voice and it was it just boom. It was just like, wow. I was... But with discontent and boredom, memories of love, and there's something around you right now that is, I feel, bothering your energy. And what I mean by that, if people keep tugging at you or pulling at you, our chakras aren't in alignment or we're not in alignment. I feel spirit is telling me for you to really look at the things that you do, cherish Sagittarius, what is it that you truly aren't invested in anymore? I feel like spirit is telling me there's some things in life that we have to learn to cherish but let go of so new opportunities can come in. And I feel that right now this is about you staying in the sun, happy. You attract everything when you're in the sun. Not get pulled into an energy that keeps messing with you. And if this is your reading, your intuition's been telling you something and you know it. And you have your th the crown. That, that's huge. That's like, that's where all the information is received. Your intuition has been telling you something. And I think it's like telling me for you to tell you to move forward with something. Yeah. New beginnings, mental conflict. It's like, you know, new beginnings are all around you, Sagittarians, because the gates are about to open. Because then I have the four of wands. And I feel that, you know, spirit is trying to tell me right now, Sagittarius, that if there's something you're going through... You need to trust your intuition with something and stay in the power of the sun because doors want to open. And I'm going to look at your recent past. I'm getting very dramatic today. I don't know why. It's Sunday. Sunday's my dramatic day. <laughs> okay. Recent past. I'm going to do the Rider weight. I have a Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Well, ten, I'm only going to take a few of you guys, but there was something that you were always wounded about, but emotionally you knew you had to walk away. Ten of Swords is telling me it's been enough hurtful completions, and the Six of Swords is you decided it's best to go to calmer waters. Maybe you went somewhere. Maybe you just got away. I don't know. But let's look at your recent past, because I feel chapters have been closed recently behind you. Those cycles are over because what's before you, I feel, is only beginnings, and I will look in a moment. 
recent past from my Sagittarius strongest what messages do you want to show me thank you spirit thank you anything else wow look at these two whoppers holy mackerel three of cups oh shit lovers that's weird okay pardon me for one sec a knight of air i'm gonna do this because i don't like to look too much into the recent past i just want to feel what the message was to get you where you're at there was something that shifted your way of thinking and i feel you were going back and forth back and forth about a lot of different people not a lot but three cups of love is celebration rejoice the tree of life i feel you started shifting your way of thinking about the people that you wanted to connect to with love i do you were going back and forth about something definitely a part of your destiny and it was a hurtful completion a lot of them a lot of them but you know lovers is destiny and i don't do love till the end but this is gemini energy but it's the yin and the yang, you know, tiger and the dragon, they meet opposites. Whatever you've been through is something that had to shift your way of thinking for new beginnings. I'm just saying. King of love is sideways. That's the king of commitment. Someone who's been very wounded. Nine of wands, four of pentacles. This is a card of stubbornness, resistance, holding on too tight to something. Maybe it was the entity or energies you were dealing with. But I feel that uh, you were very confused about the things you wanted to commit to with love because you've been wounded a lot about something. Just saying. Yeah. Got the hanging man. Knight of air. Of course you flew. Um, Knight of air is a fast forward communication, fast forward way of thinking. But the information you received recently behind you or the knowledge you found out started getting you out of a stuck position. Ooh, Sagittarians. You are leaving something right now and you, uh, new doors are open. I'm just going to let you know because then I have coming into your current Ace of Cups, Big Judgment, and then the Giant Hierophant. And this is a big major arcana with judgment. They're both huge. This is about you've been having a compassionate review of your past. You're learning to let everything go because what you want around you is you want to resurrect everything new. But there's something that you need to trust your intuition with, and it's about you staying into the sun. And stop letting other energies disrupt things. I think they're blocking your, your downloads. All right, who's this? Oh, Ace of Cups, right? Hierophant and then Judgment. So you guys, the Hierophant and Judgment together is telling me that coming into your current energies is you've realized that there's things in your life that you have to release. The Hierophant is right now in your energies coming into this. You have this power around you of faith and commitment and getting to the top one step at a time. And it's for a new lease of love on life. Right now, you guys, doors are open. They're opening 8-8 Lionsgate. You know, that's the time of doors opening and manifestation. So that's why they're telling you to stay in the sun. Be in this optimistic energy, Sagittarians, because when you are, oh my God, you attract everybody. You guys are the queen, life of the party. Life of the party. You know, my best friend is Sagi. I know a couple of them actually. All right, you guys, I'm going to get some incoming energies for you. <laughs> you guys are like, okay. I'm going to do this deck today, the Shaman's Dream Oracle, a very heavy deck, Skywriting the Fates, Beginner's Mind. I feel that there's a part of your destiny that is about to shift, meaning that all new things are coming in for you because they want to get you out of an old element. What was the element? I don't know. Everybody's situation is different, but that's what I feel. Incoming energies for Sagittarius spirit. I see. What else would you like to show me? Strongest for Sagittarius incoming energies next few weeks. Thank you. All right. I'm sorry. I just the way it flipped and I had to look at it. Underneath the oh, now I know why. You guys, this is the card that was like kind of just Repairing the veil, forgiveness. The one that stuck to my hand, me talks, repairing the body, mind, and spirit. You guys, you guys are going back to a place of just who you truly are. That's why they're telling you to walk away from things in your life that have been memories of love, but they're leaving you in a discontent boredom. You know, we always close doors the right way, but sometimes we have to close a door in order for new beginnings to begin. Because then you guys got me talks and that's the authentic self. 
or the mask. Why oh, I, I saw me talks, yeah. You guys got the ma many masks. They're all coming off. A mirror's crashing, you guys. It's like this is coming back into your true self. And I feel that you're gonna come into a lot of power. Oh, let's start looking. I'm gonna put my readers on. I like to look at the pictures. I feel more. I see. I see. All right. I have spirit of the river, movement towards adventure in the next few weeks. But spirit wants me to tell you there's straddling worlds, wandering between realms. <laughs> oh, shit. I see this one. This is what spirit wants to say in the next few weeks. So you guys have the energy to move forward with something. Look at all this beautiful lavender, purple, blue, white. But there's something that they want you to go towards and it's towards the color of blue which is manifestations oh sagittarians wow that is amazing and here you come sagittarians i got the horseman the herald of change you guys are hopping on your pony and you're going where you're going back to your authentic self meaning just who your true core feeling whole power oh sagittarians i'm loving your energy I'm loving it. This is the incoming energies, you guys. I have curiosity. Look at all this color. It's like you guys are going towards a lot of new colorful things. You guys are just flying. And then I have the Wailing Tree, Reconciliations. And I want you to look at this card and I'm going to tell you what I feel. This is a reconciliation with yourself, your true core. There's a face in that tree. This is who we are, this trunk. Look at all this fire around you, Sagittarians. Oh, shoot. I'm just going to let you know right now that you're coming back into a lot of fire energy. And it's about you manifesting and going after the things you want. There's some things in life that you have to leave behind so these new doors can open. If there's things around you right now that's truly you're not making you happy, you're just content and bored with. It's close the door the right way and new doors open. All right, I'm going to get a few messages because I'm pretty sure they'll confirm what I just said. I'm going right here. And then I'll roll into Love Crossing for those of you dealing with somebody. Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. And there's that Five of Cups. I don't know. I just looked. But that Ace of Swords is a big ace. These are messages today, you guys. Spirit always has messages for you about your reading. Here's what I think. Well, some doors need to close because you guys are friggin' taking off. I mean, into beauty and abundance and manifestations messages from my Sagittarians okay thank you what would you like to show me for the strongest messages for Sagittarius today if you can tell Sagittarius anything what would you like to tell I see Sagittarius any messages okay anything else for Sagittarius no, but who flew? Oh. I have the Page of Pentacles. This is new energy, you guys. I know there's a couple on my lap. I got two on my lap. They're right here. I see them. Uh, this is something new coming in for you. It's an eager page of earth, meaning new stability, a new beginning. I have the Nine of Wands, and I have it with the Six of Wands. This is about you having a victory over something, a big victory over something. But stop feeling as if nothing will work out for you. That's the message, you guys. I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody, but my, my readings are just as crazy sometimes. Hard messages for Aquarians. Two of Swords, and there's your Ace of Pentacles, but there's something you need to shift, and it's the way you are thinking or looking at something. Two of Swords is about being at a crossroads, about what's going to serve you for your highest good, but there's new opportunities, new golden beginnings coming in. The best Ace in the whole deck. Who is on my lap? Eight of Swords, ooh, okay. This is about, this is thought, you guys. This is what spirit wants to say to you. This is about we put ourselves in this thought imprisonment. Get out of there. Get out of there. Shift your way of thinking. Because I have the big queen of earth. And that's a big queen, you guys. This is about you, all right? Earth energy. Holding on to something about your self-worth and what you want because you will attract it. Beautiful queen. And you will get to the top. All right, the Hierophant, that is big Taurus, traditional energy. One, you guys just need to keep moving up to what you want. That's a big commitment. I have the Queen of Fire, oh yes, and then I have the Hermit. Messages, Spirit is saying, come on Sagittarians, you are the Queen of Fire. You know, you guys are just 
charismatic queen. If there's things in your life that I feel kind of block you, Spirit is saying, you've been through something before. What did you learn from the past experience or last time? I feel it's time for you guys to move on. I have not seen the cards. Here comes the lover sideways with the four of swords. I like that. This is destiny, you guys. This is fate. This is the yin and the yang. They want you to get more rest time, more meditation. You will have something in your life connect. Big message. I feel it. Page of cups, two of wands, and then there's the knight of earth. Telling me that it's time for you to move forward about something you truly want. That's what you really want. Like your stability, a better relationship, you. You know, this is eagerness. This is young. This is like a new water energy. I just feel like you got a lot of new coming in. And all you have to do is decide to go close doors in the right way and new doors will open. Okay, you guys, last two cards. They're all lined up. I have Leo season, strength, and courage. And they gave you your card. Everything in your life wants to change. You got the Wheel of Fortune. Listen, you have two beautiful cards to finish off your reading. This is about luck and right timing. Everything playing out in your favor. Have the strength and courage to know this is playing out in your favor, what's ever coming in for you. But this is about something you going after about you, your stability, your authentic self, something more stable. And use your charisma. Use your charms. There's a new part of your destiny, Sagittarians, that is waiting for you. Just letting you know. The wheel wants to spin. And you have it with the lion heart, Leo. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was magnificent, you guys. You had a beautiful reading today. I'm going to get a few angel messages. And yes, I will roll into love if you are dealing with someone. If you're truly happy, happy, happy. I don't think that's going to be your energies. They're usually just messages for people who are going through something. Two cards today for my beautiful Sagittarians today, Spirit. Thank you. Just a couple of cards, two to three, if you have anything to say. Thank you. To my beautiful Sagittarians today, what would you like to tell Sagittarius? Thank you. <laughs> what? The Emperor's under the deck. Power. Okay, let's look. They gave them to me in this order. Is there anybody else? No. Okay. I have to, sometimes they fly, I don't realize. They gave you the Queen of Raphael. This is what Spirit wants to say to you. Angel Raphael. Follow your heart. Mm. Not this. This inner heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. You guys are just trying to tell you, trust your intuition. Something in your life is about to change. Go with the lion heart. Where if you, go, if you feel like going somewhere new, they want you to follow that heart. Okay. Epiphany card number nine. I love nines. Joy through spiritual growth and insight. Oh, I don't even know why I said that. It just says joy through spiritual growth. I don't even know where end insight came from. It wasn't me. Be a light to others. Answers that come through quiet meditation. Now, I said that. I said you guys just need to get more down. There's something in kind of in, there's something coming in for you. And, oh, it is coming. Here comes your, here comes your Pegasus, Sagittarius, and you're on it. <laughs> Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence and claim your personal power. Sagittarians, this is what they're trying to say to you. Come, you're going to have an immense amount of power. You're coming back to your authentic self. And when the queen of fire is alive, you pull all the right energies in and you have the wheel of fortune. I say, I not see, I not, I do not need to say anything else. A, a weird language is coming out of me. I don't even, you guys, I can't even tell you. All right, I'm going to close this right now. I want to thank you for viewing me on Rolling Into Love, Love Crossing. And if you're not dealing with anyone on our very happy union, if you're in a happy union, have a beautiful day. All right, you guys. All right, thank you for your love and support. I'll see you next time. For those of you, <laughs> you know, I really, I, I, I like doing love readings, but it, it's very hard for me sometimes because they're the strongest and I'm trying to really tap in. Now, this may not, be your persons. There are some met me that this is the strongest. So their energy is right now towards you. Ten of Cups. That's the ultimate happiness. I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle two of swords and is it over? Or can we start something new in the world? 
I'm not a crossroads. I don't know. Crossroads, you know, they just can't figure out what's going to serve them for their highest good. Hmm. They don't want to fight with you anymore about something. They're trying to trust their intuition and maneuver around things to work something out with you. Whoever it is. Love crossing for Sagittarius. Strongest. Thank you. Strongest love crossing. Thank you. For the sign of Sagittarius. Strongest love crossing. Thank you. Energies for the sign of Sagittarius. Oh, uh, anything else? Okay, I have to stop. This is new love, you guys. Uh, that's an ace of cups. And I have it with the six of wands. Somebody wants a new beginning with you, Sagittarians. Who fell? fell? Oh, and here, oh shit. And here comes the king of cups. Now, the king of cups was laying like this in front of me. So I'm not 100% sure because that's the non-committal king. Hmm... Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, who's under the deck? Oh, the Page Cups. Okay. <laughs> Knight. Oh, okay, Sagittarians. I don't know who this is, but this is love. You got somebody who is, is coming in to woo you. But there's something that they don't want to commit to, I feel, because you are truly their wish, and there you are, the Knight of Wands. That is Sagittarius energy. But they're still wounded about something. They had a lot of a pith. They had a tower moment. They're still really hurt about it. Like they're protecting their fire energy, but you're their wish. I don't, I don't know who this is. I don't know if this is somebody new or from the past, but this, you are somebody's wish without a doubt. Mm. I wish my love cross didn't look like that. <laughs> queen of Pentacles, sideways, an unstable queen. Not hundred. I don't mean unstable. Like I just mean it's somebody who is on the fence about something and I feel it has something to do about their own money and something that they've worked hard for. Mm. High Priestess, the sun, and it's somebody who wants to get something to you, a little bit of a pay. This is somebody who's trying to work something on. This act the peace offering. That's somebody who's trying to get something new started with you. This is a person who's trusting their intuition and they only come in when they're in a very optimistic energy. This is somebody, this is somebody who wants you. And I have the Eight of Pentacles, and this is a card of somebody who's putting a lot of work into something. What do I think they're putting work into? I had to get you back. They're, they're just, they're trusting something here. And that, this is an intuitive queen too, but it's sideways, so it's telling me it's somebody who's confused they had to do something, but they're listening to their intuition. I, I don't know who this is. But let's look at their intentions. Oh yeah, I hear, I hear a letter. <laughs> Jay, I'm just joking. I, you know, come on. I, my spirit guides have a great sense of humor. They roll it down into me. But I'm going to look moon under the deck at their intentions towards you. The moon sailing through the fog. <laughs> I don't know where this stuff is coming from. Spirit guides, love intentions towards my Sagittarius. Thank you. I see. Love intentions towards Sagittarius next few weeks, please. Thank you. Anything else? Love crossing intentions. Interesting. Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Just as I speculated. <laughs> Judgment. You see, here's somebody who has a lot of toxic behaviors. Capricorn energy. Devil. But this is a person in the next few weeks who's going to start to see something, but they're going to try to lure you in I feel like it's somebody wants to res resurrect something new. But I'm not 100% sure they've stopped something about themselves. They're trying to. They're working on it. They got judgment. Two of swords about a reunion, but they're sailing through the fog. All right. Let's the moon. <sighs> what am I feeling here? Communication. The thinker. The watcher. And somebody who wants to come in and try to talk to you about something. The queen of swords. Libra. It could be somebody who's in an evaluation mode about you, but I just feel like it's somebody who wants to communicate with you more. They, oh, wow. I don't feel like it's somebody who wants the truth about something. I don't know. Here comes the eight of wands. <laughs> yeah, this incoming. It's just like somebody's trying to get something. This is a lot of, this is communication too. 
I got a four of cups sideways. Last card they gave me, the three of pentacles sideways. Now that's interesting. Oh, who's this? Five of wands, nine. Oh, five of wands and the empress. Yike. Okay, so this is their intentions. This is what I'm going to say. Is whoever you've been dealing with, I feel, definitely wants to start something new with you. They, they want to. But there's something in their own energy that's blocking them. Because they don't have their clarity on something yet. They just don't. They're trying to trust their intuition. Pisces energy. Very intuitive. Doesn't have to be a Pisces. But with the... Oh, the Five of Swords. Is it the Five of Swords? Yeah. With the Empress. That is words. Word manipulation. Things people say to hurt each other. This is somebody who wants to nurture it with you. I really do feel that. I feel that this is a person who is not even... Like, they've realized that they're really down and out about love. And I just feel like this is, they just don't even know how to put work into this with you. But I do feel that someone's got a plan. I just do. I know they got a plan. I got the chariot, page pentacles, ten of pentacles, the moon, the queen of, the queen of pentacles, and the moon went sailing. <laughs> you guys, listen, Cancerian energy with a page of pentacles. It's someone who's trusting their intuition and how to maneuver towards you. They have a plan. There's a map. I've been saying it all along. Sagittarians. You guys will know what to do. If, if this is somebody you want to remend something with or somebody new, they're totally into you. They just are slow. They're moving. They're trusting their intuition a lot and they're slow. And I hope it helped you today, you guys. Uh, if it did, please remember to hit the like button. Thank you. You guys have a beautiful Sunday. Have an amazing next few weeks and I will see you next time. Thank you.